Hey guys, in this video we're going to be doing an unboxing and a review of my new TAC Life Anonymiter. So what this device will do is basically measure wind speed as well as wind chill, so the temperature that is being changed based on the wind. So quickly get it out. First I like that this is made out of cardboard and has this really cool go green uh, slogan. So you get some manuals, little warranty card, and then we actually have the device here. It comes with a battery which is very cool. First thing you notice is that it is extremely tiny. This is way smaller than I thought it was going to be. Let's go ahead and measure the size. It looks like about I don't know, four and a half inches tall. And then the thickness is going to be just over a half an inch. And then the width will be about an inch and a half. So it's tiny, very tiny. So this is where the, in, the air will flow and measure the uh, wind speed. And I think that's the temperature gauge in there. So it does have an LCD screen and then some buttons on the front to change it from Fahrenheit and Celsius. Has this really cool rubber outside on it, which I think is a nice touch because it protects it. This is meant for hiking or doing being outdoors, even home improvement stuff around the house, like testing the flow of your air vents. So it's great to be able to have that protection that comes with it. So let's go ahead and get the battery in and then play around with it for a little bit. All right, so now I want to talk a little bit more about the look and feel of this device. So first, this rubber um, little kind of case for it is very nice. The rubber seems very soft and it seems extremely protective. The fan in here that measures the actual wind speed is extremely, extremely sensitive. Like, you can see it spinning just from me moving it. It's getting, picking up enough drag just to spin it. The screen, very big, tons of information. So I can hold down the mode button right here till it blinks. And filter right now it's on meters per second. We have kilometers per hour, feet per minute, knots, miles per hour. And then you have the max wind speed and the average wind speed. So there's so much information right there. I'm going to keep it on miles per hour because I'm in America. So now we can measure the wind speed in miles per hour. We got Fahrenheit degrees down here, battery indicator, plus it's backlit. Let's see if we can show you that real quick. Turn off my lights. So it's backlit. You have a very nice, very bright backlit screen. Okay. Put these back up. Sorry. So this device is awesome because it's so small. This allows you to take it around your house. One of the things I was doing in my apartment is measuring the airflow out of each vent. And you could really tell why it's so hot in my bedroom because there's almost no airflow. And I can prove that with an actual measurement of how much, what the wind speed coming out of each vent is, which is really cool. So let me show you how this kind of works with this fan that's right here. Hopefully it doesn't get too loud on the uh, video. So we can kind of hold this right here. six miles per hour, so we'll move it up. Kind of just to play with it so you, so you can see what it looks like. One of the things I did notice, and I think this is pretty common for these anemometers, at least the small ones, is if you kind of tilt it away, the more you tilt it, tilt it away, the more of effect it has on the accuracy. So you really want it to be as direct as can to really get that actual speed. So look, it's at 8 miles per hour. I turn it just a little bit. It starts to drop. So that was the TAC Life Digital Anonymiter. Through using this device, I found that it seems to be very accurate in its measurements. It reacts to changes in wind speed on a reliable basis and holds when the speed is like from a fan or anything it seems to be very consistent in the speed that it's detecting which I would think shows that it's pretty accurate.
The case is a nice touch. The backlit screen is very bright and easy to use at night, and it turns off automatically, so you don't have to worry about it running out of battery when you're not using it. Overall, I would highly recommend this for anybody looking for an animator in this price range. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Also, please rate and subscribe, and uh, check out my channel, Gaging Gadgets. There will also be a post about this on my blog at GagingGadgets.com. Thank you for watching.